hello everyone i hope you all are doing great we heartily welcome you all to our youtube channel cat c master if you enjoy what you see hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you never miss an upload well in this session i'll be taking you through the uh, customizing ansa user interface so if you're a fresher you might feel difficult in finding the tools or if you're working with the 24 23 ansa versions the ansa 25 gui might uh, be quite tedious and difficult for you people so for that i had just covered how you can customize your own ansa uh tools the ribbon as well as the uh, keyboard shortcuts well so i'll be taking you through these things let's get started with this okay so now we'll customize our toolbars so you can go to the settings okay and in the buttons manager we have the functions so in this we do have the ribbons so yeah we'll we use this and create the tools right click here in the function and create the tab So you can name it whatever you want. So it's your customized uh, toolbar. So I'll just mention it as simple, gentle for everyone. Okay. Well, let's start with the uh, adding the tools. So I'd like to use the uh, direct edit tools first. So I'm going to use it a lot. So I'll simply drag and drop it. So these are the tools. Now you need to create the container. Very important. So once you create the general tab, so inside this you need to create the containers. So everything will be stored in this general ribbon. now i'll add sketch and geometry so inside this i would like to add all the tools related to this so here for geometry i have used the alt g uh, shortcuts for elements i have used alt e okay shortcuts keyboard shortcuts i'm going to use let's add the uh, tools for the sketching so let's start with the design so i predominantly use curves drag and drop it so next the points So points not it added. I'll do it again. Yeah. Likewise, you can add uh, the tools which you frequently use. Not exactly what I'm just defining it here. So you can customize your own uh, uh, generalized ribbon. So yeah, whatever the tools you frequently use, you can simply drag and drop it, and you can save it. So right now it is as per the need. I'm just doing it here. so i uh, mostly use these all the tools uh, regularly so i'm just customizing as per my need so it's all your dependency what exactly tools you use so depending upon that you can set it up so naming also you can just do it as per your need so right now you could see how added the curves points and the uh, multi connect curves and the hot points insert hot point and then i have the convert to curve okay well so from the geometry so we have to like this so i'd like to add the heel so this is the most advanced tool i'm going to use it yeah yeah this is also important that is to surface so from the fe i would like to create the surface so this tool will help me a lot well similarly you can add uh, the tools so i'm just checking in the uh the setup so i'd like to use this orient tool a lot so I'll simply add it here and this api parameters so these tools i use it yep so you can even uh, uh reorient them wherever you want you can just move them so let's say so i'd like to uh keep this heel on the top so i'll simply drag and drop it like this okay go i don't want it on the top you can simply drag and drop it uh, likewise you can just uh, play around your required tools in the beginning and then you can place the tools uh, as per the requirement wherever you want you can place it yeah so likewise uh 
I'll just uh, fast forward this video. So I have created uh, most of the uh, shortcuts. So uh, I'll show you what and all I have created. Likewise, the macros and the modeling tools. Okay, and directed tools. So yeah, some of the additional tools I have added it. So I'll just show you now. You could see here. So how the direct macros, morphing, view, create boundary conditions, additional. So all the things I have added. So now very important thing is uh, I predominantly use the black background. So I'm just setting up gradient type as flat and color as black. Okay. And in the general, if you are using the multi-screen, just set this one floating windows to a same uh, monitor so that you don't need to switch to the uh, windows and select the uh, sub, uh, sub options. Yeah. So you can just save these all settings here. So once you save it, so it will be stored in your windows C folder, beta C A in your version as an XML format and you can even transfer it to all this and then all this can also use it if they want okay and you could see uh, I'll just simply open one of the model so that you can see this is the model yeah. and you could see we have the uh, general additional tab which is here uh, there are tools but see uh, tools icon is big and some tools are in the drop down I would not follow this means I would like to keep everything visible so some tools doesn't have the icons right so yeah what you can do now is you can just change this all to format small format even I use this include properties material so I'll just pin it to the uh, startup so whenever you use them so whenever you start the answer these should be here some people might not find it it might be difficult for beginners yeah I'll set the deck as default of destruct yeah I'll just go to the settings here and in the buttons manager as I said I would like to change all the uh, icons to small so this is important for me because uh, I'm unable to cover all the tools so here you could see I have covered all the tools and you could see everything is visible so like this you can set it up so once you set here I remaining things you can see there are all the tabs are active the ribbons are active so I would like to remove them so you can go and uncheck from this one so I would like to keep only the general and surface mesh so that the uh, the GUI should look uh, user friendly so this is what I am doing it here Right is there general I would like to remove that as well yeah general I need it yeah direct more I remove yeah well so once you are done with this now if you say this one I'll just do that and then now if you save it you can close the answer or if you open new answer whatever you have saved it will be taken into account let me just open new answer you could see so you have it ready here well you could see we have the general and surface everything is as we have set it now I'll be taking you through uh, setting up the shortcuts so I'll just show how it is done here so right now I had set two shortcuts for the direct editing tools for that is alt e if you press it will directly activate this edit mesh tool so with this you can just click the uh, elements and you can even join them and again if you would like to join the trials you can do it so for activating alt G is the geometry edit so from this you can just delete the uh, parameters and you can do fill extrude project and even you can utilize the brush uh, to deal with the uh, the quality check yeah and then you can use this uh, switch to insert tab yeah likewise you can deal with this uh, it will add the uh, hot spots on your model so now I would like to set the shortcuts for the paste align and the include tool let's see how we do it so for that you can directly go to the settings here in the your customized ribbon itself you can do it so let me maximize this and then here I'll just slide this 
yeah the first one is the mesh setting so i don't need to set it up because anyway we do it once generate mesh also might not be needed if you would like to set it up you can do it but yeah for the improve would like to set it up alt r that is reconstruct so you can press that and i would like to use this align so alt e is the shortcut i'll do it and then for pasting we have the direct tool so not needed right yeah as of now i think this is fine if you have multiple uh, shortcuts to be set up from your side you can do it so let's say you use few tools multiple times you can do that so right now i'll just show keys so for reconstruct alt r yeah tool got activated you can just select the region middle click reconstruct yeah so likewise if you press alt e it will activate align tool wizard you just select these uh, elements press next select two nodes to define the straight line and then it will complete it this tool is highly advanced not only it does this much i'll showcase that in the later sessions yeah well so likewise you can set your own shortcuts uh, the keyboard shortcuts i hope you got it so yeah yep that's all from the session so finally to summarize we had gone to customizing the answer gui like setting up the back black background and setting up our own ribbons keyboard shortcuts i hope this might help you to work on the answer more friendly well that's all we heartily thank you all for watching this video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up follow us on facebook linkedin and instagram for behind the scenes content and the updates stay curious stay awesome and see you again in the next video